So what we want to do is to set up a viz area. So um, I think the easiest way to do this is from the top view to start with. So this is our temple here. Actually, what I might do is I might just rotate these. Actually, uh, let's make it a bit easier. Let's go back to my perspective. Yeah, they can be a bit more like that. Um, Yep, okay. So, area and create viz area and just start drawing this in. Um, so, we want it to be between the, we want it to encompass the interior, they're not be around the exterior um, and just double click to finish I'll just go into edit shape and delete that one I didn't want so let's go back to our perspective and we just need to move that up now to be in the right area so you can see as we're moving that up it's made our uh, both our interior and our exterior invisible. So let's just change the height a bit. And basically, it's just a case of messing around with this until you get it right, which I think that is about right. So from the outside, I can see the outside, but the inside is invisible. You can see I can see straight through that. When I go inside, can see the inside, but I can't see anything outside. So that's exactly what we want. So that's fine. Um, obviously we just need to fix this problem now of not being able to see the interior. So let's fix that, which we want a portal for, so area, portal, and then we just want to create a portal between the two. So again, let's do it from our top view. And I think it's over here. Double click to finish. Back to perspective. And let's bring that up. So it just needs to go from one to the other. I think that's right. Yeah. So that's fine. Um, then I'm not sure if you can copy and paste these. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it seems to let you. So we can copy and paste that and use one of those for each of these that fact that seems to have sent the exterior into the wrong viz area so let's just move that up a bit that's better Go to our top view again and make that a bit smaller. Top. 
also edit shape and then we can just drag these so we should be able to drag these and see what's going on there. Okay, you just need to make sure you use transform gizmo is on and I think that should fix it now. Okay. So let's just make these a bit smaller. It's better. So I think I think these are quite like the the better you have them kind of wrapped around just the space that you need, the more optimised it is. Um, so it's best to keep them about the right shape and size if you can, not make them bigger than you need to. So let's copy and paste that and put it over that one. And let's copy and paste that and put it over that one. Okay. Um, so it looks like these need to come down a little bit so that I can see in. Okay, I'll just pause this and figure these out and get them in the right place. Right, okay, so, um, yeah, there was this hole in the middle of the roof with a portal that I couldn't seem to fix um, and I just couldn't fix it basically so I've uh, just delete, uh, I filled in that hole in the roof I don't know why I couldn't get that to work these ones work absolutely fine um, you can see I can fly from one to the other no problem and the doorway is working fine as well but for some reason that one in the middle of the roof I just couldn't get the portal to to work properly, it just seemed to glitch so uh, I'm guessing it's some kind of bug um, but anyway I've just had to work around, with, around it so I've just changed my design a bit and filled in that hole if you can see where it was um, so I need to clean up that geometry a bit um, but anyway the point is our vis area is now set up and this this does work how it should do so it's kind of nice and dark inside and then when we go outside we've got the outside lighting so we can have a bit of a play with our vis area now um, so the first thing you can do with your vis area is change the if we press shift and space we'll get rid of all of the um, uh, kind of being able to see all of this wireframe and stuff so we can change the ambient colour so we can make it really light inside our temple or we can start off we could start off pitch black and then just add lights so I'm going to start off really dark with this and add lights to to light it inside um, if you turn on affected by sun then some sunlight will basically be allowed to come through so that might work quite nicely actually um, although we've got some weird bits so I don't know I might leave that off um, sky only is supposedly if I tick that it should get rid of anything outside like the terrain um, but that never seems to work for me so um, just leave that off as well um, ignore sky colour Ignore global illumination, these are basically just things that it'll take from, um, it like can override settings that you set in the time of day. Um, and again, ocean is visible, it should make the uh, turn on whether you can see the water from inside or not. But again, I don't think that check box works for me ever. So this is basically the end of this tutorial. All I'm going to do is just quickly add in some lights now to show how this would work um, so let's bring in a light 
and press shift space so that we can kind of see what we're doing and this is going to be the light that is going to kind of illuminate from uh, from this skylight so let's just take off the grid put it right in the middle of there um, and we can have a bit of a play around with that maybe increase its radius a bit and make it a bit less light something like that and let's just save that and then let's copy this and move it over to be over the other skylight and let's copy it again move another one kind of into the doorway so now the inside of here is you know this is only a kind of very basic lighting scheme um, but this is certainly looking a lot more realistic as a kind of a, a very quick um, a very quick base um, so yeah just one last thing I'll do to finish this off is uh, bring in a light beam to kind of shine through the door. Let's just bring that in. Uh, follow the terrain is on. There we go. And so this is just a um, just a, a basically cylinder brush but it's got a uh, like a um, an animated texture on it so it kind of looks like a light shaft coming through. So we can put that over the doorway, copy and paste that, um, and obviously we'd want to change the uh, probably change the the material on this a bit and make maybe make it a bit more of a sort of yellow sunlight colour, um, and maybe even scale it up a little bit as well. But for the moment, let's just do it like this. Paste that one over to that skylight, and there we go. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this like this for the moment. Obviously, there's tons more work to do on the uh, on the interior of this, um, and the next video that I put online will be going through texturing all of this. Um, inside and out and ways to like break up the tiling on this and how to add detail so we're going to be modeling in some um, like some broken bricks and that kind of stuff um, and setting up a multi-material but yeah that, for this tutorial that's it